Hello, everybody, and welcome to this video, where today we're going to do a little bit of tough love, a little bit of a kick in the ass, and stuff like that. It's funny, whenever I do a video like this, someone will comment, get the fuck out of my head, or like, how did you know I was thinking about this today? Like, this is fucking weird, or something like that, right? Today is going to be no different. For those of you who don't know what I'm doing with members right now, I'm doing a live stream every morning with a cup of coffee, and just touching base, setting goals. Um, at least for me, that's what I'm doing. I'm making like lists of things that I need to get done that day. Then hopefully the next day, like I get to go, yeah, this is what I did. This is what I didn't do. Shit like that. What we're going to talk about right now, a couple of different emails I've gotten recently from some of you that come down to the same thing. A lot of this has to do with fear. And a lot of this has to do with our time management, but um, not in the general sense of time management. And what I mean by that is a lot of us spend a lot of time a day freaking out or worrying about things that we honestly have absolutely zero control over. Like there is absolutely no way us freaking out and worrying about certain things are going to have any effect on that certain thing. And the reason why this is crucial to bring up is that I would say probably more than any other thing, people tell me that they don't create, they, they aren't writing, they aren't painting, they aren't doing whatever it is that they're into because they just don't have the fucking time to do it. You know, they're just, there isn't enough hours in the day. But at the same time, these people are also spending hours on Twitter bitching about fucking politics or bitching about like friends they have or family members they have and things of this nature. Now, as far as like the politics thing go, we do have the ability to change things with politics because we can vote. Okay, but if you are spending the majority of your day consuming content about politics, watching the news about politics, reading up on politics, and then listening to podcasts about politics, spending time on X or whatever fucking thing there is, and you do that more than you spend on your writing, or anything like that, maybe you are spending too much time with that shit. So like, yes, I definitely believe it's good to understand what's going on in the world so you are informed when you vote. But that should not take more than 8 to 10% of your day, at most, okay? So that's one thing. Another thing is when people complain and just get like all worked up over anything from sports to TV shows to like just like social media drama that like some of their friends or somebody created or something like that. It just consumes you and you spend all this time doing the thing. You have to really ask yourself how important that is to your everyday life. How is this thing going to be important to you next week, next month, next year, okay? If when you think about this stuff, you realize, oh, in like three days, no one's even gonna be talking about this, then why are you spending so much time and energy freaking out about it? Our time here is finite, okay? Like we only have so much time here. So why don't you do the things that you've always wanted to do? Why don't you write that book? Why don't you take that course to learn how to chisel stuff out of marble? Whatever the fuck it is that you want to do, do the thing you want to do. And if you aren't sure like how to judge between these things, 
we're going to go back to the thing I say most of the time, make a fucking list, okay? And if you need to make it throughout a day just to see how much time you spend on each thing, do that. Just have a piece of paper. And if you're like watching the news, put like I watched the news for this amount of time. I ate this amount of time. I cooked this amount of time. I exercised this amount of time. I was on the phone this amount of time. I mean, your phone, if you have a phone, it gives you like um, a breakdown of how much time you spend on social media apps, how much time you spend on like educational apps and things of that nature. You, I, I don't know exactly how you do it. Like Google it. Like uh, my phone just every week tells me like if I'm up or down from the week before on certain things. Figure out what is taking up the most space in your mind every day and then ask yourself if that thing is the thing you want to be spending all your time worrying about. Because if you want to do other things, if you want to create, use that time for your creativity. Do not be held hostage by negative shit, hate, fear, and all this other crap that you that you have absolutely no control over. Like, yes, if you need to worry about bills, worry about bills. But instead of worrying about the bills, go, okay, how can I pay these bills? What can I do extra to make this go away? Okay. But things you that you have absolutely no control over. Like, why is that guy acting like an asshole? in the grocery store. Oh, he's really pissing me up. Oh, my coworker, what a piece of shit. I can't stand this person. They drive me crazy. You don't need to be doing this because nothing you think about that is going to have any effect on the outcome of your day with that person. Like they're the way they are, that's it, okay? So what can you do to give yourself more time to pursue your dreams, pursue your goals, and give yourself time to create. What can you do? You know what I'm saying? So if you are hearing this and are like, dude, yeah, like I do this, leave it down below. What are the things that you let consume you that you really have no control over, but you keep giving into it? What are these things? And like, honestly, when you speak things out loud, I say this a lot too. Words matter. Your voice matters. When you speak things out, there is a change in things. You speak things into existence. And when you speak out problems that you have, flaws that you have, it makes it a lot easier for you to recognize that and have the self-awareness to be able to do something to change those things. I hope that makes sense and that I explained that correctly. We only have so much time, guys. Everything could be gone in an instant. And I know a lot of people, when I talk to them about their writing, they say that they want to write this thing so like their kids or their grandkids can have something to remember them by, some sort of legacy that this was something that you created kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? A plane can crash on your face tomorrow and you will never have written that book, okay? So seize the day, carpe diem, come see, come saw, whatever. A bunch of phrases that I don't know the meanings to. Just do the thing, guys, okay? Figure it out. Type hard, join the crew so you could have coffee with me in the mornings and I will talk to you all later.